Hello and welcome to Draco Ray Gaming. Today I'm going to teach you how to get your green screen looking awesome. This is going to be my top five tricks in three minutes. Let's go. Well, the first thing I want to talk to you about is lighting. Lighting is absolutely huge. So when you're looking at all this, I have a box light up here on the top right hand side and the left hand side. You could probably see a light bouncing off my hand. I also have a ring light for my face. So I actually have three lights coming back on my big, uh, huge green screen back here. And the lighting is critical. If your lighting's not right, you're going to get white spots. Like if I take this flashlight here, you're going to get white spots and other dis uh, this disformation and, and, and just problems and, and fuzzy grain and things popping up. And you really have to have the right type of lighting when you're doing your green screen. Now, I also want to talk to you a little bit about contrast. So let me bring up my streaming uh, settings here. Uh, let's go look at my filters for my camera. So we're going to click on the actual camera itself, the video capture device. We're going to go to properties. We're going to go to configure video. And when it brings up this screen here, what you really want to pay attention to uh, is the auto uh, feature. So we're going to talk about uh, white balancing. White balancing makes a huge difference with your green screen and whether it shows up uh, horribly or too dark um, or whatnot. So you can see that if it starts to go too bad, you'll start to see the wrinkles in the screen and other stuff. So I, I run around like that for my lighting about 5,300 looks really good. I don't use the auto feature. I uncheck it and I turn it off because it makes me look too pale. So I tend to give myself a little bit of a tan there like that and it works really well. Uh, another thing, my monitor is over here, so I'm looking over here. The other thing that's usually on by default for your camera is the focus and exposure. Um, and it can really mess up your settings uh, off, off the bat, really. So what I do is uh, I let it go auto, I let it hard set to the current lighting and situation, and then I turn it off. Now, if you don't have this set right, it it's it's drastic and it'll, it'll ruin your green screen and it'll make it look really, really bad. Uh, if the focus is off, it makes everything look bad as well. So you want to set, hard set it to auto, then un unset it and click apply. So your contrast, your white balancing, and your focus all lock on those settings are locked to your current lighting situation. Um, you also want to do it after your lights warm up and make sure that they're warmed up because it will get brighter as they warm up. So now you can see it looks perfect. Everything's great. The other thing is clothing. You need to wear dark clothing. Don't wear green. Don't wear blues. Don't wear like weird purples or uh, like turquoises or anything like that. I just stick to black. The chair can also make a difference. I used to have a chair with blues in it and the blue was really hard to cut out of the green screen. So think about the color of your chair and your clothes when you're green screening. And the last tip I have for you is wrinkles. Your green screen needs to not have any wrinkles in it uh, they make some uh, if you're using cloth or anything like that make sure you iron it make sure you hang it straight maybe use some poles with some clamps or something like that to hold it straight the wrinkles will make it hard for the green screen to filter it out so make sure it's nice and smooth and you'll be looking good all right guys I hope this helped you out with your green screen this is my top five tips in three minutes I'm Drake Ray, and I'll see you guys next time